what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel this is the rth podcast man i'm your host nephew and i'm checking in man so it seems like jamel charlo is having problems making weight bruh and i was explaining this bruh uh because he's used to when he prepared for fighting doing a lot of extracurricular activities in that gym you know what i'm saying you gotta imagine jumping rope running miles the whole nine right and let's keep it a bean bruh um that's usually the recipe for losing weight not the recipe for gaining weight right so you kind of got to switch things up in training camp i know this is annoying as heck for him bruh because this is the opportunity of a lifetime to to see canelo alvarez especially if he can get the dub bruh I know everybody keep talking it down like he can't do it, but Austin Trout believe he could do it. And, you know, he's seen both Canelo and Jamel Charlo in the ring. Now, does that mean anything? No, it doesn't. Because it's going to be left up to their fist and boxing IQ on the night. But, bruh, I know this is annoying, man. This is annoying, man. Uh, trying to gain that weight and maintain it and still be physically in shape. This is something that was uh, happening with Roy Jones. Uh, he was able to go up in weight, but then when he tried to come back down, bruh, uh, he met guys who hadn't been doing what he was doing uh, in that gym and in his in their careers. And yeah, man, he he met a guy by the name of Antonio Tarver, bruh, who uh, yeah cleaned his clock. So it is what it is. But I'm gonna read what Jamel Charlo had to say, and I'm gonna get back with my commentary after that. So he says it's not easy to make 168 i have to gain weight and gaining weight when you're working really hard it's really tough it's the same thing i'm trying to explain man he doing all of the recipes for losing weight bro so i know sometimes he got to sit down and chill he got to eat and lay down just try to keep that weight on bro and i'm pretty sure they have like uh supplements that can help him but he got to be really careful with that he got to be really careful with those supplements bro because that could get him in trouble and the last thing he want to do is win it legitly and then they say oh man he was juicing like you dig what i'm saying but uh saying that to say he also says it's tough transforming my body uh transforming the body i'm sorry uh it's a task it has to happen sometimes to make the best fights in boxing you have to take chances and risk that's just the nature of this game man so kudos to jamel charlo but, uh, you know, trying this, bro, it, it's, a, it's a long shot, bro. Got to give him credit, though. It's a long shot. I understand a lot of you Tim Zoo fans, Australian fans, as soon as I put Jamel Charlo on the thumbnail, bro, I just know y'all going to come over here and blast my comment section, bro. So I'm going to ask y'all again, man, keep Tim Zoo out of the comment section. As long as Canelo Alvarez is side by side with Jamel Charlo, this is history in the making, bro. Uh, for both of these gentlemen the first time this has ever happened in the sport of boxing and we don't want to dilute it with uh duck talk you know what i'm saying we could do duck talk on tim zoo videos right now but just not on this one because this is history in the making for jamel charlo as well as for canelo Alvarez. both of these gentlemen will step into um uncharted territories in the sport of boxing and make history and it would suck to be the guy to lose it yeah, just keep it a bean now, as far as Canelo Alvarez is concerned, bro, he's chilling. <laughs> Canelo is chilling, bro. He's uh, enjoying training camp. Um, going home and having his fight in uh, Guadalajara, Mexico, uh, it, it did something to him, bro. You know, sometimes you got to get that home cooking, and sometimes you got to be around uh, familiar faces and your loved ones, and then you kind of get that edge of your child in your, your youthhood all over again, right? You kind of get that 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 it kind of reopened that that can of worms for you and it kind of gives you an opportunity to remember where you come from you know a lot of people will always say that when people become successful they were like man you forgot where you came from and so for canelo alvarez to take his journey back to guadalajara mexico bruh he was able to figure out something that he used to do back when he was younger and now he's implementing it for this fight bruh we could see a classic canelo alvarez show up on September the 30th, bro. And this is what he figured out, man. He figured out going up high and, and training in high altitudes, man. He said, it's good. I'm in Truckee, California for the altitude because, you know, when I fought in Guadalajara, Mexico and beat John Ryder in May, I felt the difference 
in the altitude. I felt better. My body felt better, bruh. So going into the ring, bruh, <laughs> bruh, going into the ring with a comfortable, a comfortable, well-trained Canelo Alvarez might be dangerous, bruh. <laughs> Not might, it is, bruh. Let's keep it all the way up being. It's dangerous, bruh. He ain't the face of boxing for no reason, bruh. He ain't the face of boxing for no reason, man. This could be a very dangerous uh, task for Jamel Charlo. And he's seen game, but he, he he's fighting two, two major fights right now. He's fighting that scale, right? He got to make the scale because if he, he's too low, on the scale then they they not going to stop the fight but they're not going to let him become undisputed if he were to win right they ain't going to stop it man everybody put their money into it they probably let these dudes duke it out right but and then here's the craziest thing right before we even get to the, the second half of this um here's the craziest thing you know how like sometimes fighters go on the scale and they they uh be they be drained you know what I'm saying? And then they get that chance when they get off the scale to go rehydrate. And they can get to their comfortable weight. What 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 would happen for Charlo at his comfortable weight? Right? Because he, he's he's more comfortable smaller. Right? He's more comfortable smaller. So will he come into the scale uh, at 168? And will he go back down? Like will he go back down to maybe 63 to 60? Is that a smart idea? In the fight versus Canelo Alvarez? Like you dig what I'm saying? But the second half of that, this puzzle, right? He first got to beat the scale. Then he got to beat Canelo Alvarez, bro. Now, I'm pretty sure it, it's not as stressful, but I know it's annoying as heck, bro. Uh, he get to eat all the great, the, the best food that he want to eat, but he can't overdo it, right? Because you don't want to be bloated. You don't want to be sluggish. You kind of you, you kind of want to be able to still uh, have your, your bones and your joints oiled for a fight like this, bro. But... I don't know, man. With Jamel Charlo saying that he having trouble uh, with uh, making this weight, uh, gaining weight, ah, uh, man, maybe he putting himself at a disadvantage, but you got to give him mad props and mad respect, bro, for even taking this task on. And I get it, right? He could have stayed at 154, but, uh, hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to Jamel Charlo, man. Good luck to Jamel Charlo because it is an opportunity of a lifetime to stand across the ring from canelo alvarez bro and, and here's the craziest scenario about this man to be number three right um a lot of people could maybe hang their hat that the dimitri bivall win was a fluke they they could they could really do that right and uh due to the wbc's policies um dimitri bivall may never see canelo alvarez again so it, it kind of serves the the question as to was it a fluke because we don't get a chance to see that second fight uh, between Dimitri Bivol and Canelo Alvarez, especially at 168, which is where I thought Canelo Alvarez would dominate the likes of Dimitri Bivol, right? That's just my opinion. I know at 175, Dimitri Bivol could beat Canelo Alvarez easily. But if Dimitri Bivol had to drain that weight and come down to 168, especially with a maximized rehydration clause, like you say, you can't go over 10 pounds in your rehydration, yeah, bro, it would have been a great fight to see it happen at 168. But it is what it is. So now this gives Jamel Charlo an opportunity to not only catch that W, right, to, to actually beat him, right? But if he were to win, get the second fight in and leave no doubts. You dig what I'm saying? To leave no doubts, versus Canelo Alvarez would dethrone him. That would be the only way to dethrone Canelo Alvarez because he take an L to Dimitri Bivol. Um, and, and yeah, it's a troubling L. He goes see Triple G. He kind of gained some of his fans back with the Triple G fight. He goes see John Ryder in Mexico, right? That was the smartest thing for him to do is go home to Mexico because now he regained his popularity back in the sport of boxing. And then he showcases a fight like this for the world like you see what i'm saying um jamel charlo undisputed versus undisputed it's something that everybody's excited about in my opinion I, I i'm not that kind of dude that's gonna sit there hating on this particular scenario it is what it is but uh yeah man to to lose it bro to lose it once and eh, maybe it might take a couple of his fans away to lose it twice i think everybody closes the door on canelo alvarez so he definitely got to be on his a game but good news for all of you Canelo Alvarez fans, uh, he's in high altitude. He had a crazy performance, 
versus uh, John Ryder. Maybe not the best Canelo Alvarez we've ever seen, but you kind of got to imagine fighting Demetri Bivol, having to rehash a rivalry with uh, Triple G, and and finally get that stuff off your back and off your shoulders, and then seeing John Ryder when you're a little bit drained, you're not too drained, maybe you uh, mentally drained, uh, maybe a little emotional drained because you know you lose your 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 claim to fame. You know it was it was only person that would beat me is Mayweather, like that was his claim to fame, and so uh, he loses that particular uh, aspect of his career, but um, he gets two dubs in the process. So now to get this Undisputed versus Undisputed Showdown, bro, he could be in great spirits, high altitudes right now. So, yeah, man, this is a good one, man. Uh, this is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Can Jamil Charlo beat the scale is the question. Can he beat the scale? Because it, beating Canelo Alvarez, a lot of people think that it's, it's not going to happen, right? I'll give him a shot in the dark. I'm not, I'm not going to ever say nobody got an opportunity. Why would I bring, right? Why would I be sitting here talking about this fight if I didn't think he had a chance? Right? Ain't no point. I can talk about anything. So, saying that to say, I do give him an opportunity to beat this dude. Uh, it, it's going to be difficult, especially if he's comfortable. But I do give him an opportunity to do it. Um, do you guys think he can beat the scale, though? Can he beat the scale? Can he beat Canelo Alvarez? Y'all leave those comments in the comment section below. Canelo Alvarez at high altitudes, man. So... Is this just going to be a walkaway victory? Like Canelo walking away in slow motion when the car blowing up behind him. Is it is it that kind of scenario playing out? This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. For all night champions, sign up now.